What's up, Taurus? I f- swear to God, y'all get the shit end of the stick every time. I'm I'm doing it. I'm doing this video from here tonight because I just don't have the time. Late Thursdays is when I film these videos, and Fridays I upload them. And Thursdays for the last six months, I've been doing my life coaching certification classes every Thursday. Now, every Thursday, I have my internship workshops through Zoom. So by the time I'm done, I'm, it's late. I have to be up early the next morning for school. So I, I apologize. But um, if you're new here, my name's Tori. I do these readings every Friday, uh, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to donate to the channel, it's all linked in the description below. You can buy me a coffee. There will be a, a little card that pops up. Join my email list every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I uh, send out emails to everybody. Keep in touch. I do answer emails when I get a chance. Um, and I'm posting some exclusive content to... Um, patreon after i do these videos wow not y'all being overwhelmed huh nope it's not you it's not you being overwhelmed confused seven of cups and then the eight of cups um so maybe you're getting out of your confusion walking away from confusion three of wands i kept seeing this um, I don't know if y'all are waiting for things to change. The Empress is at the bottom of the deck, which feels like your energy. So you're in this very co-creative place right now. Um, you might have a lot of options. But could be in love, especially with the Empress. Like you could be dealing with a lot of people or just a lot of emotions um, or just a lot of options in the things that you can do in the places you can go. The eight of cups is just a card that says, well, you could, some of y'all could be moving with the eight of cups next to the three of wands. These two cards could most definitely indicate some sort of like leaving one state and going to another it could be physically, but again, it's like, I feel like this growth and expansion happening the three of wands is also about waiting as well like the waiting period like knowing things are gonna change for you but just waiting for them to happen which makes sense with the empress too because it's like she don't chase anybody she doesn't chase anything or anybody she sits on her throne and waits for people to come to her yeah eight of pentacles damn Got working your asses off putting in the work the emperor in reverse. Y'all are walking away from some two of cups in reverse. That is about a breakup, possibly. The ending of some sort of relationship or partnership. It's done. It's it's over with. Or you're just waiting for it to like really come to a close. The emperor in reverse is a card about not being in control or just somebody having control over you and abusing that control. I feel like you guys are really working tirelessly and effort, not effortlessly, but tirelessly working uh, to clear your brain, come up with the right answers for yourself. At the bottom, you have the fool in reverse, which could be a card of you being afraid to take a risk on something but it's, it's also just foolishness. So I feel like for some Tauruses out there, like remaining where you're at, not making a choice could be, or not walking away, not making your choice, the choice to fully walk away and leave this behind is a foolish choice. Um, wait, possibly waiting for things to change when you could be walking away, foolish choice. You know, the fool in reverse, fucking idiot like 
call a spade a spade. That is what the fool in reverse is. Like I could get the book out right now and read it to you verbatim. It's a fucking idiot. So don't be an idiot, Taurus. Six of cups. That's living in the past. Don't, don't, we don't need to live there. Maybe that's like, We've taken residency in the past and Queen of Wands upright. But the funny thing is, oh my God, the Five of Wands. The funny thing is, is it's like, you know where you want to go. You know what you want to do. You know how to even possibly even get there, right? You're kind of in this, this, this um, place of confidence and and even like attractiveness or whatever. And for some reason, it's like there's some sort of aspect of your life that you're choosing to live in the past with. And it's not serving you, you know? It could be causing you more work. Um, like, like you might not have to work as hard if you just walked <laughs> away the five of wands is pretty much like it could be petty fights but it's conflict right so you could still be like it's like you're fighting for a, a connection possibly that's already broken and done what the fuck is the point of fighting right maybe you're waiting for the fighting to be over the only way it's like the cards are saying like the only way it's going to be over is if you walk away fully. We don't live in the, in the upside down past King of wands. That's aggressive energy. The King of wands in reverse is very much. So again, with the emperor in reverse and the king of wands in reverse, some of y'all could be dealing with somebody who literally has some sort of power over you or who knows, this could be your energy too. Maybe you're abusing your power over somebody else. Whatever it is, the cards are saying you really need to walk away. That's the only answer here. I, I was literally thinking like, but where's the Taurus card? And here it is. But the Taurus card, the Queen of Pentacles, is in reverse, which either tells me that could be some greedy ass energy, somebody who's only in it for material aspects, or it could just be saying you're really needing to take space to really give yourself some, some self-care. Yeah, y'all need to stop handling this situation. There's nothing to handle. The six of wands in reverse is again, another card. We have three cards out that represent some sort of like, I don't want to say coercion, but could be. The six of wands in reverse is very egoic energy. So I don't know if this is you wanting to fight just for the sake of saying like you, you won, you know what I mean? But the cards are saying like, it's best to just walk away from whatever this is instead of like fighting this person, trying to be right with somebody or something that you're just not going to be right with. You know what I mean? Queen of Cups is in reverse. This could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that you're dealing with. Um, yeah. Seven of Swords in reverse. That's truth coming to light. Lies coming to, to light. Somebody being found out, whether that's you or somebody else. It's like things being put out on the table in a situation. Oof. Oof. Marona mia. Page of Swords in reverse is very manipulative energy. I don't like it. I'm not going to lie. I do not like this reading. <laughs> um, I, I would like it if you did this. Eight of cups. If you walked away and left the fucking cups where they lay, there's nothing to fix. There's nothing to take care of. 
if you're dealing with somebody, you're dealing with a very uh, somebody who knows what they're doing. The Page of Swords is somebody who is clever, but uses that cleverness to get one over on people. Right. Um, and then and then leverages that to gain control with the emperor in reverse, the king of um, wands in reverse. It's like you're the one working at things possibly. But why? Why would you be? Why should you be? Knight of Swords. That's about thinking on your feet, using your noggin. I think you're really needing to. I think you you have you, your your judgment's a little clouded here, Taurus. What's your advice? I feel like that Knight of Swords is part of your advice, which is like get your mind right. But let's see if it comes out. What's the advice for Taurus? Oh, I didn't meditate today. Nine of Wands. Persevere. Stick it through. Don't give up. I don't think it's don't give up on this per thing or person. Yeah. Draw the lines in the sand. Have the conversations. Articulate what you need to articulate. That King of Swords does not take bullshit. Stop taking bullshit. Stop taking shit you don't need to be taking. <laughs> the Hierophant in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse. End the relationship. This is not something you need to be committed to, right? This is not something you need to stand tall in your convictions with anymore. There is no conviction here. You know what I mean? This is just a big mind fuck, whatever this is. And it's obviously taken a toll on you. This is, this is a card that says, yeah, you're going to get through it. You're going to be okay. But you also need to speak up, speak your truths, be honest, put things out on the table, draw the lines and keep it the fuck moving. Keep it the fuck moving. I'm going to listen. You guys deserve some tough love. That's why I'm pulling out this deck right here. The rebel deck. I forget who got this for me, but it, this is one of my favorite fucking decks. What does Taurus need to know? <laughs> Shit is going down with your job. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. So this could be about a job. Like you're waiting for something better to come along when you should just be leaving. For some of you. For some of you, I do feel like this is a person. Most definitely. Actually, I feel that more. Step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and, spir and spirulina taste like ass. <laughs> Eat some yummy shit. Bacon, chocolate, beer, get some. That's, that goes with that self-care. Um, you equals tight ass. <laughs> Loosen the fuck up, control freaks. Don't get laid. Oh, wait. Loosen the fuck up, control freaks. Don't get laid. Um, There goes back to that control thing. I want to pull one more. Put the fucking phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to, li to a live person. Maybe you need to get out there. Taurus, maybe you need to go hang out with people. Stop trying to control everything. Maybe you're the one trying to control everything. Maybe it's throwing you out of control. I don't know. That's what I got for y'all, though. Um, let me know if that makes any friggin' sense. I love you guys very much. And I'll catch y'all uh, in the next one.